How's it going, guys? This is the first episode of a new series I'm going to be doing called The Essene Gospel of Peace. Hungarian psychologist Edmund Seke studied in the Vatican and in 1923 discovered ancient texts, which he translated. Going deeper with how Christianity used to be spirituality, these texts further prove this point. So sit back and let's dive deep. So book one starts off with many sick people coming to Yeshua and asking why they suffer from various diseases and sicknesses. And they ask Yeshua for his guidance and for his healing. To which Yeshua replied, Happy are those who hunger for the truth, for I will satisfy you with the bread of wisdom. Happy are you that you knock, for I will open to you the door of life. Happy are you that you would cast off the power of Satan, for I will lead you into the kingdom of our mother's angels, where the power of Satan cannot enter. People began asking Yeshua who their mother was and where her kingdom could be found. Yeshua went on to say, your mother is in you, and you in her. She bore you. She gives you life. It was she who gave to you your body, and to her shall you one day give it back again. Happy are you when you come to know her and her kingdom. If you receive your mother's angels and do her laws, I tell you truly, he who does these things shall never see disease, for the power of our mother is above all. What Yeshua is referring to when he says the mother, he is referring to the earth. Just as when he says the father, he is referring to the universe. Think of our planet as the divine feminine, the egg, as the universe is the sperm, which impregnates the egg. The earth and the universe work together to create life as we know it here on this planet. Yeshua was telling the people to rely on the earth and to see her as our divine nurturer. When it comes to a spiritual awakening, one of the first things you realize is your interconnection with the planet and the universe. It becomes very apparent that Yeshua was on a spiritual journey and he was trying to awaken the people of his time period. Yeshua went on to explain how each aspect of our bodies were one with the earth. The blood which runs in us is born of the blood of our earthly mother. Her blood falls from the clouds leaps from the womb of the earth, babbles in the brooks of the mountains, flows wide in the rivers of the plains, sleeps in the lakes, rages mightily in the tempestuous seas. The air in which we breathe is born of the breath of our earthly mother. Her breath is azure in the heights of the heavens, sows in the tops of the mountains, whispers the leaves of the forest, blows over the cornfields, slumbers in the deep valleys, burns hot in the desert. The hardness of our bones is born of the bones of our earthly mother. Of the rocks and of the stones, they stand naked to the heavens on top of the mountains. As are giants that lie sleeping on the sides of the mountains, as idols set in the desert, and are hidden in the deepness of the earth. The tenderness of our flesh is born of the flesh of our earthly mother, whose flesh waxes yellow and red in the fruits of the trees and nurtures us in the furrows of the fields. Our bowels are born of the bowels of our earthly mother and are hid from our eyes like the invisible depths of the earth. The light of our eyes, the hearing of our ears, both are born of the colors and the sounds of our earthly mother, which enclose us about as the waves of the sea a fish, as the eddying air a bird. Though all Christians will agree that Yeshua is the way and the truth, they are very unaware that a majority of his true teachings were hidden away. As a matter of fact, when Edmund Seke found these texts, many religious figures were calling it heresy, and to this day many just see this as fiction written by Edmund Seke. The Dark Ones have done very well at keeping out a majority of the truth, such as these books and the Book of Enoch. They have made it so that a majority of the masses perceive spirituality, which is the truth in its purest form without any religious titles attached to it. It's just viewed as a bunch of crazy hippies who don't know what they're talking about. Many people are just so stuck in the ways of the Matrix 
that they can't see what is true. The religious figures who criticized Edmund Seike about these texts don't realize the truth because they are just quoting scriptures, and we'll get more into dead scriptures as we progress down these books. But what I can tell you is that these books are truly the teachings of Christ. When you tap into the Christ consciousness frequency, these teachings come to you naturally. It's crazy that as I was reading these, I felt as though I wrote this myself. That's how much I align with this truth. I'm uploading these videos to share the truth of religions, but at the same time, the most important thing to be doing is to find these truths within yourself. It's good to read through these ancient texts, but at the same time, they are just scriptures, and you need to find this truth within the living God, the living word. Find it within the earthly mother herself. Go out in nature, for it is the Garden of Eden mentioned in Genesis. It was not a single garden on the earth, it was the earth. Now let's get back to what Yeshua says about the laws of the earthly mother. I tell you, in very truth, man is the son of the earthly mother, and from her did the son of man receive his whole body. Even as the body of the newborn babe is born of the womb of his mother, I tell you truly, you are one with the earthly mother, she is in you, and you in her. Of her were you born, in her do you live, and to her shall you return again. Keep therefore her laws, for none can live long, neither be happy, but he who honors his earthly mother and does her laws. For your breath is her breath, for your blood is her blood, for your bone is her bone, for your flesh is her flesh, for your bowels are her bowels. Your eyes and your ears are her eyes and her ears. I tell you truly, should you fail to keep but one of all these laws, should you harm but one only of your body's members, you shall be utterly lost in your grievous sickness, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I tell you, unless you follow the laws of your mother, you can in no wise escape death. And he who clings to the laws of his mother to him shall his mother cling also. What Yeshua means in this passage is that your body was given to you by the earth and the universe, the mother and the father, and you must treat your body with respect as it is an extension of both the earth and the universe. And by engaging in unhealthy activities and living an unhealthy lifestyle, you're harming different aspects of your body. As in, if you drink and you're an alcoholic, you're harming your liver, you're, you're taking advantage of the body that you were given. She shall heal all his plagues, and he shall never become sick. She shall give him long life and protect him from all afflictions, from fire, from water, from the bite of venomous serpents. For your mother bore you, she keeps life within you. She has given you your body, and none but she heals you. Happy is he who loves his mother and lies quietly in her bosom. Yeshua is referring to find your inner peace by meditating in nature. Even in Luke 5.16, it refers to Yeshua going into nature and meditating. As I said before in my video, the original Christianity was spirituality, Prayer is actually meditation. It is your oneness time with God. In Luke 5.16, it says, He withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. Yeshua was connecting with his earthly mother, though in the modern Bible they will not tell you this. For as I said, religion is run by the dark forces, but it is time you all know the truth. Yeshua goes on to speak about the immense love our earthly mother has for her children. For your mother loves you even when you turn away from her, and how much more shall she love you if you return to her again? I tell you truly, very great is her love, greater than the greatest mountains, deeper than the deepest seas, and those who love their mother, she never deserts them. As the hen protects her chickens, as the lioness her cubs. So does the earthly mother protect the son of man from all danger and all evils. We're going to stop here for today, but in closing, I want you guys to remember that the son of man does not refer to Yeshua alone. Son of man means humanity. 
keep this in mind going forward. And in the next video, we're going to be talking about the temptations of the dark ones and the worship of the living God rather than the dead scriptures. As a teacher of light, it is my personal responsibility to bring out the truth. When we see the truth of what Yeshua was teaching, we see the dark ones have done Yeshua a great dishonor by making Christianity the way it is today. My personal goal is to get rid of the idea of religion and only see the truth and break down the barriers of separation of race and religion as ultimately we are all one being, one with the earth and ultimately one with the universe, one with everything, one with all that there is. Remember, get out in nature, meditate, find the truth within yourself, create a healthy lifestyle for yourself. I hope you guys learn and grow from this new series of videos. And with that being said, I send you guys love and truth. Peace to you all. I shall see you all in the fifth dimension. Peace.